See, if there's a fellow who responds to a challenge, this is not exactly a place that a young man from Fresno, California would choose to be, I should suspect. Babe Ruth up there with the bases loaded, but Seaver is looking in now to Johnny Bench. Runners at first, second, and third, and here is the slider, and it just misses off the corner, and it is ball one. One and oh to Babe Ruth. Ruth, of course, left-hand hitter. Seaver walks around to the grass of the infield back of the mound to rub up the ball. Steps back up there. Cronin's at third, Phil Speaker's at second, Ted Williams at first. And here is the pitch blazed in there for a call strike. It's one and one. Ruth took a look as Seaver got the fastball in, and it's gone to one ball and one strike now. Babe Ruth, of course, capable of riding the ball out of any ballpark at any time, and he has ridden a great many of them over the right field fence here at Shy Park. The infielders are back. They'll give up a run for the double play ball if they can get it. They would indeed. As again, Babe Ruth is back into the batter's box now. Waves that bat around and scribing a little circle with the barrel of the bat. Here's the pitch, and it's swung on and missed. He swung right from the heels. Took the big cut, and it's one ball and two strikes. Babe Ruth back out of there now, brushing himself off a little bit. Bases are loaded as Ruth comes back in. Seaver looks in, gets the sign. And here is the pitch. It's swung on as a fly ball to center field. Lou Brock is going back. Brock is lining it up now. Runner Cronin is tagged at third. Brock makes the catch. The throw is going to third base as Cronin scores. No play at third. And so movement in over there is speaker. And Williams is holding it first base. And so they are runners at first and third. One run in, and the American League has taken the lead on the sacrifice fly and the run batted in. 